Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft survival adventure. Uh, today I, I'm gonna be trying to do something with our uh, with the zombie spawner we found, but I just wanted to show this off. I, I had tried to record my wolf farm uh, tutorial in survival, but the video turned out really bad so I'd released it as a tutorial instead, uh, but I do have this in my world. I, if you want to check out that video, I'll put a card up. Okay, so off to what I intended to do for today. So, gonna head back over to the zombie spawner, uh, but before I go there, I, I wanted to bring a few materials with me. I brought a lot of wood, because I'm gonna make a good chunk of this out of wood. I br I'm also bringing some glass and some iron so that I can make some hoppers. Uh, and I also have one patch of soul sand, and I have some kelp, but I am going to need to gather a little bit more kelp before coming off, just to make this a little bit smoother. So I'm going to wander out here and grab some of that. Uh, at least kelp is nice and easy to gather. I uh, shouldn't need more than a couple kelp plants. That should be sufficient. Now I just gotta wait for it all to come up to the top and gather it. Okay, so it looks like I got a stack of kelp. That should be definitely way more than enough. I only needed like 20, but better safe than sorry. So... Now that I have some kelp, I'm gonna head off through the nether and locate my farm, or my 2B farm. Okay, and we have come to my spawner. So, to get this started, I, since I never collected anything from down here, I'm just gonna put a double chest over there and... I uh, break this one so that I can store my stuff elsewhere. I don't know why I brought those along. Okay, so... I, what is needed with one of these farms is you need at least two spaces dug out beneath and three above. So it looks like I've got the three above already. Uh, so I'm gonna come down... Oh, looks like I can only go one lower. I'm having bedrock. So I'm just gonna clear this out a little bit. Uh, and I'm gonna try to make the most out of this. This is gonna be a little bit of a trial and error experience. I have never done a zombie farm this low to the ground, so this is gonna be a little bit creative. Okay, and the other thing that needs to happen is I need to turn this into a 9x9 room, so I'm going to come four off of each side. Okay, so we have this dug out to the dimensions I want, and I have a little bit of a problem being this piece of bedrock. So I'm gonna do the only thing I can and just pretend that's not there, I guess. And turn it into a pillar. And then I'm gonna seal off the rest of this room to hopefully make this what I want. Oh, 
on, I don't have enough light. I got zombies spawning. Uh, let's get some torches. I'd assume there, 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 and there. That'll hopefully stop my zombie spawns, but we'll find out soon. Looks like a way into my spawner. And I'm gonna try to close this off. Okay, so now that we have the room that I've been after, I uh, let's try to <clears throat> Try to think about this here. Uh, I think I want my zombies to drop down over here. So, uh, I'm just gonna dig out those two as a marker. So I think I'm gonna want. Uh, let's make my zombies go up in this corner. I'm gonna funnel them all to right here. Okay, so I've got some bedrock in some really terrible places. I've got this piece back here that's messing with me, and I've also got this piece down here. So I am gonna... I ended up making the floor come up like this, uh, so that when... Because I have to use this block of bedrock. Uh, so I'm making my water extend to there. And then with my pickaxe, I'm going to come through and remove the last little point on this. And that'll continue my water flowing down this way. Uh, which means I'm going to... I need to make a crafting table here real quick. Uh... Why do I have a button? Okay, let's put some garbage in here. Uh... Okay. So, what do I need? I'm gonna need some signs to make this work. Uh, so, let's make some of those. Uh, looks like I get spruce signs. And I'm gonna grab a couple stacks of 15 just to be safe. So I'm gonna put a sign there and there and just keep working up to the ceiling with signs. This should hopefully hold a column of water in. Uh, whether or not my zombies will walk into this column of water, I'm not 100% sure, but there's only one way to find out, I suppose. Okay, so this bottom block there, I need to replace that with either sand or dirt so that I'll be able to grow some kelp on it. And then I need to take this up. Uh, let's see, my floor is one higher here, so I'm going to need to bring this up roughly 20 blocks. So... Uh, let's, I'm at Y4, so I need to go up to Y24. And I think this is going to be my kill chamber right here. Oh, nice. It's right into that room. Okay, that works out lovely. Okay, so going 20 blocks up. Okay. 
Okay, so I've hit my 24. My apologies for the darkness here. I think I'm gonna come over two more. And then I'm gonna come down. Yeah, I think I'm coming down to five. There we go. Oh, awesome. That is exactly where I wanted it. Okay, I'm gonna dig that out. And I suppose I gotta dig all this out now. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a torch down there so that uh, you can see what I'm doing. Uh, so this is our drop-down shoot, and I want this to hurt my zombies. So I'm gonna put a couple signs on the back wall just so that water officially stops here. And then... I'm gonna grab my bucket of water and place it on... Oh god, I just fell down. Oops. Well, that was a mistake. I guess we'll redo that. Okay, so now that I'm back up here and haven't fallen off yet, uh, so this is my hole down where to my kill chamber. And on top of this block of dirt in the back here, I'm going to put a bucket of water and just make sure that my water has stopped where I wanted it to, so that'll push everyone off nicely. And then back at this block here, I'm going to dig this back out. Okay, so now that I got some dirt planted there, I'm gonna grab these kelp. And I am just gonna start planting kelp on, well, I guess I'll swim up here and plant kelp on the way. I want kelp going all the way up to the top because I want this to be solid water blocks. So exactly like that. And then I can go back down to the bottom and I can destroy my kelp and yep it all floated up so that means it's working then i'm gonna grab a piece of soul sand and replace this dirt block at the bottom with soul sand turning this into hopefully a bubble column and ooh yeah it goes right up all the way over and then you fall and it hurts so that should be good Oh, by the way, if you don't have feather falling, uh, you might want to dig a spot down here and place a bucket of water so that you don't kill yourself. Uh... Ooh, wow. This might actually be close to done. So, uh, I guess I'll spend a little bit of time and work on the kill chamber here. So, for the back of it, I'm gonna want just a, some solid stuff. Uh, let's go like that, and... Yeah, too wide and too deep, I think, is gonna be my plan here. So yeah, that should be my kill area then. So they'll fall down in this back corner and they'll have a few spots so that entity cramming doesn't completely mess with it. I... Okay, I'm gonna... I need to make some hoppers then, I think would be my next step. So, let's see. I've currently got two chests, which means I'll need three more because I think I want five of these total.
I'm not sure. I'm gonna make some hoppers and figure this out real quick. I didn't quite do the math. I'm completely making this up as I go. Hopefully in the end it'll turn out good. Okay, so I think that is going to be the spot for my chest, so I'll need a hopper going into that, and then I'm going to need to make hoppers that all connect into each other to go into that. Oh, actually, I've got a problem here. I'm not going to be able to collect XP from this. Okay, sorry. A little bit of a design flaw. Okay, I'm changing it to only two hoppers. Because uh, with the way it was, I wasn't actually going to be able to collect any of the experience dropped. And yeah, that would have been very not good. And I'm actually going to change the way I'm doing these hoppers to... So I'm going to dig it down like this and grab my hoppers again, or I guess I'll grab my chest first. So I'm gonna put two chests in like that, and then I'm gonna get a hopper going into the back of this chest somehow. I guess I may need to do it from on top of this hopper. Okay, so that should be my hoppers connected and being funneled into a chest down here. I think I like the way that's looking. Okay, so I'll put my piece of glass back and then these slabs. I, I guess I'll put them on like that so I can just crouch so I can crouch down, crawl under these, and I should be able to kill everything nicely. I'm going to put a piece of carpet on top of each of my hoppers just so that XP doesn't get stuck in them. Uh, then I'll put a couple torches up here just to have some light, and I think that should be a kill chamber. So, if I have done this correctly... We will find out very, very shortly here. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what else to do other than to try to take the torches out and find out if this is going to work. I'm not sure if zombies will just walk into that. So they go down, and they're not going up. Um, this is looking like it might be a... Oh, we got one to go up. So they do go up eventually sometimes. This might actually be working. Okay, so we'll seal that off, and it looks like I've got a few little zombies over here. This is definitely not going to be the most efficient zombie farm ever. I... I'm going to do one little step that personally I like to do. I... I'm going to try to mark out where the spawner stops producing. Okay, so actually it looks like pretty much everywhere it's... <clears throat> Okay, so anywhere this line and forward, I am apparently okay, and my spawner is active, so... You don't have to do this step, I just personally like to do it just to remind myself for future reference that my spawner is actually working. 
I have wood on me, which would be a million times better to use. I know it's still kind of ugly, but at least it's better than just basic granite. a problem with my farm that I just noticed. Okay, as you can see, all the zombies are stuck there in that one spot, which is the one thing I did not want to have happen. So, what I need to do is remove this block so that they can space out. And then put my glass back, and now I should be able to get more zombies in with the entity cramming thing. Okay, well, I guess I'll let me give these guys a whack and make sure this is all working properly. One hit killed them beautifully, got the XP, had stuff fall into the chest. So this is definitely not the most effective zombie farm in any way, shape, or form, but it is one that functions. And if you take these principles along with some of the advice I gave about, like, you know, making the room the right dimensions and stuff like that, uh, you will get a lot higher uh, results out of this. But for the time being, this is what I have to work with, so I'm just... I'm making the most of it. When you get a zombie spawner on bedrock, well... It pretty much just sucks to be you. Okay, so I'm actually gonna... I decided I'm actually gonna make this a little bit prettier and one step bigger. So I'm gonna connect one more hopper in here like that. And uh, that should allow me to break out some of the rest of this, like you and you. And uh, I'm short a piece of carpet. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my last piece of carpet in. Uh, let's get some glass. And I'm going to take out this one block to give them one more spot to funnel to and put that up. So now I've got a nice big area for my zombies to hang out. I put a torch there to light this area up. Okay, well this is the end result of my zombie spawner, uh, and hopefully everyone found this useful and helpful. Uh, I'm going to uh, AFK a little bit and let this build up some zombies just to make sure it's all working properly, and I will be back once there's a little pile of zombies going on. Okay, so I've been AFK for about five minutes here, and looks like I've got a decent pile of zombies built up. Uh, so I just want to make... Uh, one comment, I, if you are going to level up your tools from something like this, uh, make sure if you have a whole bunch of mending enchantments on all of your armor that you unequip your armor first. Uh, XP goes randomly to any item you are either holding or have equipped that has mending on it, so even if your armor is fully repaired, it'll still... Uh, take that XP and funnel it to your player instead of giving it to your tools that need it. So, with that being said, I'm going to come in here, take a whack with my sword, I re-equip the tools I want repaired, and gather some XP. Should be able to one-shot these other guys. Awesome. And if all went well, there should be a bunch of stuff down in my chest. Looks like it's still funneling down in there, but, uh, so that is the general concept. Uh, hopefully everyone enjoyed this, found it useful, and I, if you have any comments about what you'd like to see in future episodes, it would be greatly appreciated. I could really use some advice, or use some ideas. I... Uh, so with that being said, if you like this video, smash that like button, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I uh, hope everyone enjoyed, and see you next time.